Welcome to acsportstips.com. We're continuing our week two analysis. We're going to talk about the U, the Miami Hurricanes traveling to Manhattan, Kansas to take on the Kansas State Wildcats and head coach Bill Schneider. Last year, Bill Schneider, coach of the year, leading the Wildcats to a 10-3 record and a Cotton Bowl appearance versus Arkansas. Last year's matchup, down in Miami, fourth and goal with no time left. The Wildcats stuffed the Hurricanes to pick up the upset victory and route to their 10-win season. The, the leader in that game? Senior quarterback Colin Klein, the X Factor, he torched the Hurricanes. So we're going to break down both the, both teams right now. We're going to give you a prediction. Let's talk about Miami a little bit more in depth. This is back-to-back -back road games for Miami. Last week traveling to Chestnut Hill, and this week traveling to Manhattan, Kansas. So you got to keep your eye on that when you think about the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes are paced by junior quarterback Stephen Morris, who didn't get off to a great start against the Eagles. However, as that game progressed, he did show good vertical passing late in that game. He got his feet under him, he looked more confident, and he hit some big throws late in that game down the field on the Boston College secondary. They had a very balanced attack, Miami, offensively. Over 200 yards passing from Morris and over 200 yards rushing, led by senior Mike James and standout freshman Duke Johnson. Johnson scorched the Eagles with 135 yards rushing and two touchdowns. He can be an X factor in this game. He's fast, he has good strength, and he can wear down, him and James can wear down the Wildcats defense. If you're talking defense for the Hurricanes, I think the philosophy for head coach Al Golden and the rest of the coaching staff will be let Colin Klein beat us with his arm and not his legs like he did last year. I think you're going to see the defensive philosophy cramping the line of scrimmage, using their young linebackers on, on blitzes and stuffing the running lanes of the Wildcats and forcing Colin Klein to beat, him, beat the Hurricanes with his arm. He threw for 169 yards last week, Colin Klein did, in a win versus Missouri State. However, there's still a run-first offense. Him and running back, junior running back Jonathan Hubert pace that Wildcat offense. So if you're Al Golden and the Hurricane defense, I think you want to see the linebackers stuff the line of scrimmage. You want to see them get some penetration and force Colin Klein into some passing mistakes. Kansas State. Offensively, we said it, they're a run-heavy offense. They're led by their senior, Colin Klein, who was the surprise quarterback last year. If he did struggle last year a little bit, it was in the passing game. Bill Schneider says he wants to see more of Klein uh uh, maturity in the passing game. He threw for 169 yards last week. It was a blowout win. It's a different type of defense with Miami. ACC type of defense. They are speedy, they are fast, and they're going to pose some, some problems in the passing game for the Wildcats. The secondary is led by juniors and seniors by Miami, and they were very opportunistic last week, taking the ball away from the Boston College Eagles three times. Miami scored off those turnovers. That led them to the victory, the 41-32 victory over BC last week, so you have to keep your eye on that. When you look at the defense for um, the Wildcats, they have experience, juniors and seniors as well. The thing that scares us, though, is that it is the Big 12. The Big 12 is used to a pass-happy um, offense. They give up a ton of points. They're traditionally not strong in run support. You look at top-ranked Oklahoma last week. Their defense gave up 199 yards, over 200 yards rushing to UTEP. Miami's running game is very strong. They have two dependable backs that have speed and toughness, and, they're, and Al Golden's going to look to wear down that defense. How does that defense respond of the Wildcats? That's a concern of ours. We think that the Wildcats' defense isn't, even though it has experience, we're not sold on the Big 12. They have to prove it to us. We like the ACC in terms of physicality as well. They're not on the same level as the SEC, but they play a physical style of defense and look for the Hurricanes to exploit that on the offensive side of the ball with the Wildcats defense. That's going to be a key factor in this game. 
when we break it down, we see the Hurricanes winning this game. We think they're hungry. We think they're they're speedier on both sides of the ball at the skill positions with both running backs, James and um, Duke Johnson. And that secondary led by the senior group, they do lose Ray Ray Armstrong this year due to suspension. He was kicked off the team, but they're led by juniors and seniors. They're a bend but don't break type of defense. We just think their linebackers with the secondary experience is going to pose problems for Colin Klein and that Wildcat offense. We see the upset in the making, Miami 35, Kansas State 30.